Michael Appleton is the new man in charge at Blackpool. The job at Bloomfield Road opened up at the start of June after Neil Critchley shocked Blackpool fans by leaving to take the job as assistant head coach under Stevie Gerrard over at Aston Villa. Derby County assistant Liam Rossini seemed to be the front runner to take over from Critchley. Reports suggest that he was interviewed twice and offered the job but turned it down due to issues with the playing budget and training facilities. Blackpool have denied that this is the case. Appleton's appointment is a bit of a surprise given his history with the club. He was manager back in the 2012-13 season for just 65 days under the hugely unpopular Oyston regime, but he quickly made the jump to Lancashire rivals Blackburn. On his return, Appleton has been quoted as saying that Blackpool was the right club at the wrong time, and they're obviously in a very different spot ownership-wise right now. There's always been the exciting young coach tag attached to Appleton, although sometimes in football, young coaches are categorised as young and exciting when they're just young, frankly. The start of Appleton's career takes in all of his championship work, and it's rather tumultuous, if I do say so. Uh, Portsmouth were in administration. Off he went to Blackpool for that short run, and his time at Blackburn wasn't any longer, really, only a few days, I think, before he was fired there. He did do a good job at Oxford, taking them up from League Two to League One. He left them, actually, in eighth place in League One, and reached two EFL Trophy finals. Appleton then sort of went the same route as Neil Critchley, going and doing coaching over at Leicester and then West Brom before returning to be in charge at Lincoln in September 2019. He did a good job there, certainly for the first two-thirds of his contract, changed the style of play following Danny Cowley's tenure in charge and in his second season got all the way to the playoff final, losing to guess who? Blackpool and Neil Critchley. That Wembley team for Lincoln was quickly broken up and with some health problems as well thrown into the mix. Lincoln and Appleton dropped down to 17th with the manager leaving at the end of this past season to, quote, look for a new challenge. And I'll give my thoughts on that new challenge in just a second. But in the meantime, please do hit that like button to support the video and the channel. I can understand the Blackpool fans being a bit suspicious, once bitten, twice shy, I guess, given Appleton has been there before and walked out. But I do also accept it's a different time, people can change, and the club's ownership is very different now. And I do actually believe that there can be a right and a wrong time and a right and a wrong place to be somewhere or doing something in life. I guess only the Blackpool higher ups will be able to say whether he was indeed the first choice for that Blackpool job with all those rumours around Rossinia and the fact that Michael Duff was also apparently interviewed for the Blackpool job before deciding to take the Barnsley job. In the pros column for Michael Appleton is that he's very experienced, especially when you consider how young he started in management and how probably long he's still got left in his managerial career. You'd probably conclude that Appleton's best years were at Oxford in League Two and then the eighth place League One finish and at Lincoln obviously reaching that playoff final and his Lincoln side wasn't poles apart from Critchley's Black Bull so it won't need that complete stylistic reset that Appleton had to do following Cowley over at Lincoln. In the cons column along with the previous walkout is obviously a bit of a lack of second tier success. I'm sure Appleton would argue the mitigating factors at Pompey and at Blackpool. But Blackburn does seem a bit of a missed opportunity. But look, it was a long time ago and he's certainly a different and more experienced manager now. I suspect Neil Critchley is definitely in the hard act to follow category, having taken Blackpool very quickly up from League One and then stabilised them in the Championship. The theory that a quick rise is often followed by a quick fall in football is one that Appleton and Blackpool will be very keen to try and debunk in this instance. Under the circumstances, I do think this is a fairly solid hire. I suspect it will get the uninspiring categorisation from some fans, but it shouldn't be forgotten that Critchley's walkout has really put Blackpool in a bit of a tough situation. Perhaps... 
Liam Rossini and Michael Duff would have come across as more exciting and intriguing, but maybe the need was for experience at this moment in time, and Appleton certainly does offer that. I suspect if you offered Blackpool fans 16th again in Appleton's first season with the opportunity to then move on in the second season and head towards the top half of the championship where Neil Critchley did have them for periods of last season, they would probably be cool with that. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comments. Will Appleton improve or match what Critchley did or are we expecting a bit of a drop off now at Blackpool. Give me your views and react to the others left down there in the comments. If you want to know how we ended up in this situation, then click here and you can see my reaction to Neil Critchley leaving for Aston Villa and opening up this seat for Michael Appleton to jump right on into.